alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. And he's holding. About your training career, what did you consistently feel more comfortable with? Training the shorter guy against the taller guy or the taller guy against the shorter guy? Well, you can't teach tall. You know what? That's there or not. I love to have those kind of advantages physically. You just have to make sure that you teach them to fight tall. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. And he just holds on there. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A headshot blocked. Halfway through round number one. The Brown Bombers left now getting into the mix. Step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Golden hit up top hard. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Nice work. The left hand to the head. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Took a shot, now he gives a left. A solid uppercut by the Brown Bomber. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Golden. That's a solid hook by the Brown Bomber. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. The Brown Bomber's right hand scores well that time. Great movement to get away from those punches. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Golden. A sharp hook to the head by the Brown Bomber. Good left hand able to land. He just looks big, big shot comes crashing home. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. The Brown Bombers' defense is paying off now. End of that round, okay. and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them.
other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook, get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Golden is out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Teddy? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. Well, he missed that right. I like the way he was able to hook to the gut there. Golden's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Last 10 seconds. Nice strike after catching one by the Brown Bomber. The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards. And Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of the rounds were close, but on inside, when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit, he was the one who made the right decision to punch. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Now hugging on the inside. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Really frustrating his opponent now. The Brown Bomber so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, He's worried he's going to leave an open. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. He gets away from one and then brings it home with his own. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Golden. Shake it off, shake it off. It's all right, it's all right. Stay away from those. Come on. A well-placed left hand up top. Seconds to go in this round. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Good smooth work by Golden. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. The Brown Bomber strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang. The right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A+. Plus. Able to bring the hook down low. Oh. <laughs> nice work to the midsection with the left. Great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Golden. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Keep it going. He's 
tied. Yeah, the champions Brown tied. Bombers the scoring with that right hand. Now he ties up there. Keep doing what you do. Keep moving. Keep moving. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. The Brown Bombers giving us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. Golden's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Solid uppercut. Downstairs with a right hand. Looking good, baby. You're looking real good. You see him holding on. Golden's tag. Oh, what an uppercut. That's a well-scored left hand by Golden. The Brown Bomber's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Solid left hand to the head. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. A stinging uppercut by the Brown Bomber. Able to land with the right. And that's the end of round six. Golden's corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now the good eye is back a little bit where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change. What a big shot. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. Good shot to the head with that right hand. The Brown Bombers' defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Doing well on the outside. Golden's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Keep moving, keep moving.
Bombers. Jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. What a bulldozer by Golden. Big shot there. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. now underway and Teddy your scorecard hasn't changed the Brown Bombers in complete control of this fight he looks unstoppable I don't see this changing at all no the only way it changes is if he gets a little full of himself you know if he starts taking things for granted but I just don't think it's in his makeup he got caught by that right hand he never saw it coming he may be looking to clinch here Brown Bombers jab lands well. The jab has been able to carry the night for him so far. Why so, Teddy? Well, first of all, he's been able to get it off at the right time. His opponent, that sweet spot, you know, you hear about that in, in baseball. You want to just hit that ball in the sweet spot. Well, the jab, he's catching. Golden's in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. <sighs> Brown Bombers way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Clean shot with the right. Good looking counter punch. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Golden's bang by him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Late goings here in this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? opponent is floored a knockout victory boy was that impressive by way of knockout your winner the brown bomber wilder now that's how you end a fight right there yes he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside.